Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. It's Monday, another Monday morning, and we're hoping for another big, productive week. Say hello, RC, to the valued viewers. Hello. Look at that, you see, I'm bringing RC in. I'm not cutting him out, although I probably will cut that bit out, RC. So for today's valued viewer request, because we've got a lot to do in very little time, I'm going to try and squeeze two requests into one video, RC. Request the first from Rory Shields 23 hours ago. Hello Rory, can the Harrier and DCS recreate this takeoff from Farnborough 82? And we'll go and have a look at that. Let's just go and have a look at that now and get ready for Raymond Baxter. Here now is a high spot of Farnborough 82. Fresh from the Falklands, the triumphant Royal Navy Sea Harriers of 899 Squadron Fleet Aero. A proud moment for us all, not least for Chief Test Pilot John Farley there doing his unique Harrier takeoff, although that particular maneuver is not encouraged for squadron pilots, not even 899 squadron pilots. Thank you, Raymond Baxter. Fresh out of the Falklands in 1992, we had a Harrier there doing what well, I can't find the name of that stunt. I don't know if you, anyone knows the name of that stunt on the stream. Unless anyone can find the name of the stunt, I'm going to call it a pirouette nose high takeoff because that just sounds cool, right? Uh, and then let's look at the second one Rogue the Gamer, spelt with a Q instead of a G. A bit weird, but okay. Publicly subscribed for seven months, that's good. Hi Cap, knowing that the Harrier concept is supposed to take off from a destroyed damaged airfield in Cold War and respond to any Soviet threat to defend the area that it was in, how heavy can you do a vertical takeoff like trying to lower the weight by reducing fuel amount and equipping aim lines for air targets attacking the area, Hellfire rocket, more like Hellfire Mavericks, rockets bombs to attack ground, ground targets that are under attack by Soviet invasion? Really interesting question. It's a thing that never happened because the Cold War never went hot, but it could help. Now, note that he's gone for a vertical takeoff. Even with a damaged runway, you could probably do some amount of stall, but let's just go absolutely, there is no runway at all. It's all been destroyed. It has to be completely vertical. So we can tie these two into one. Can we do the famed 1982 pirouette takeoff? And how heavy can we take off absolutely perfectly vertically and then transition to some kind of level flight? The pirouette takeoff absolutely is possible because I know guys that can do it who are much more skilled than us, RC, in DCS. The question really is, can idiots like me and RC do it? Probably not, but we'll try. Hey, welcome back, valued viewers. We're in the ruins of Aleppo. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we just are. So we're going to take off vertically up and then point our nose up and do a supercat pirouette to the sky maneuver. I've never practiced this and I don't expect a good thing, but do this. Turn your water to take off. Set your nozzles to up and get ready for genius. So nozzles have to go... Hang on, I'm really confused. So the nozzles have to go back and the nose up. Yeah, but as we go oh, up, the, go nose, yeah. the nozzles have to go full, forward. Right, okay. Okay, RC, yeah. watch magic. Let's watch you first. This could be... Let's go to watch you. You're going to watch me? I see you yes. watch me. Here we go. Are you watching, RC? And then he, he did it. He lifted up. He lifted up. Oh, my God, I'm doing it, RC! That's it. I'm yeah. doing it! Maybe too much. I'm doing it, RC! Look, I did it! It was really easy in the end! Okay. Woo! Look at uh, this jet never s ceases to amaze me at how powerful it is. The valued viewers are waiting. Here we go. Just do it aggressive. You think you have to do it not aggressive, but you just have to do it really aggressive. So just yank that nose up, hit those babies up. Go on, RC! No one's. Yeah! <laughs> not quite yet! <laughs> Only I straight up, did I? Only RC could get that one wrong somehow. Should we do it again, RC? I think I let off the stick too much. You did let off the stick. You gotta go friggin' nuts on it, man. Now one thing to note, I didn't use my flaps, my stall flaps, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, but I it, it seemed no, to work I had better. Mine out. No, I'm I'm literally you're not using my I'll just leave it on auto. For some reason okay. it work, it works in my brain that, that should be a thing. Okay, I'll see. Watch me first. Watch this. Watch how aggressive I'm going to be with it. Okay, gear is going out straight up this time. So first of all, just up, 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 up. Gear up. Uh, and then full power nozzles. Oh, I see. I see. All right, I don't feel so bad now. We'll cut that out of the video. I don't want the valued viewers thinking I'm an ass. There we go. I landed in your plane. <laughs> <laughs> what? Landed on your plane! <laughs> we tried to do that, do you remember? We tried to do that for about half an hour and we couldn't do it. 
No, why oh, can't skip. you do it, RC? Kind of gets it dropped right back down. It doesn't. It doesn't. Right, I'm gonna do it. No, it, it, no, it doesn't, RC. Right. You have, you've got to be manly. Down. Think Sylvester Stallone. Channel Dolph Lundgren. Yep. Nigga, my pilot Ah. Say your faces to stun McGuan. Because here we go. No, you didn't, you baby! No, uh -oh. you don't! <laughs> wow. Raymond All Baxter. Right. How did I do it? I was like, I did it first time, fine. Alright, here we go. You're thinking too much. I mean, I am, I am really thinking about it. Right off you go, RC. The thing is, yours is so puny, oh, no. you just. That's where he likes to stand, guys. That's just where he likes to stand. Leave him to stand there. I got it perfect, perfect first time. Come on, I'll see. Come on, I'll see. Come on, get that nose up. Get those nozzles back. Full power. Yes, I'll see. He's... Oh! <laughs> oh, come on. We've got to get this right. This is ridiculous. I did get the, uh, nozzles back at time. You just said damn nozzles. You had problems with the nozzles, I'll see. Right, here we go, guys. I won't show off this time. I'll just do it. Stopping it going over the top is your really hard. Straight back. Uh, why am I tipping over now, RC? Because your nozzles are far not straight back. Oh, crap in the hat. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I get another go. I get another go. Whatever. Whatever. Out. Out. All the way back. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they should go. be back now, shouldn't they? Yeah, and you go they over are. the top. Yeah! RC to space! Not perfect, not as good as last time. Alright, you try it. That's as good as I can get it, valued viewers, because I'm an idiot. The annoying thing is I did it perfectly the first time. It's actually harder than it looks. Make babies! God. Why can't you do it, RC? I get it. Your wrists are too puny to pull the goddamn stick back. Well, look, was, we've got it on camera. I did it the first time. I don't know how. Yeah. Valid viewers, do a video do a video of it doing it perfectly. Send it to me and I'll splice it in real quick. It turns out that my, me and I say are too retarded. And yes, we are allowed to say the R word as long as we're talking about ourselves. Right, I've sent the valued viewers off to go and do it for us. Okay, welcome back, valued viewers. We're going to find out how heavy we can take off in vertical. We're in a pure vertical now. Fly over, bomber tank, you know, in the, in the Cold War, we don't need to go, in the Hot War, we don't need to go 20 miles or so, come back and land the plane and rearm. So to do that, we've gone with 30% fuel as a minimum. We think it's enough to get airborne, fly a few miles, bomber tank, come back and land and rearm. With that, um, I have got, first of all, let me show you, 20, uh, six times mark, 83,000 pound bombs. So I've got a total airframe weight gross of 23,000 200 pounds. Uh, I'll try mine and then RC, you try whatever you're going to try. You want me to go out big two? So you go 22,000. I've got 23,000. Okay. Right. right. We're not going to take any limiters off. We're going to leave the engine in perfectly normal configuration. So I do not want to melt anything. Engine settings there. We'll see how hot we get the thing. Okay, super cap. Right, super cap's going. I should stop babbling and talking bollocks, I suppose. Come on, baby! 102%, 103%, 105%, 107%, we're maxed out. I don't think you're going to oh. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Not happening. Come on! Come on! I'm sort of floating. I've got kind of a weird ground effect thing here. Yeah, but you're not getting up here. <laughs> hey, you're saying I couldn't go bomb a tank like this, RC? Uh, Damn you! Let's see if I can... No. no, I can't. I can't go nozzle back, because that wouldn't be a vertical takeoff then. Right. Come on, baby! Take off! I'm going to do a helicopter thing. I'm going to pull the nose back. Ah, I'm scraping! I'm scraping! Come on! No. Ain't gonna, this ain't going to end well, RC. 
This ain't gonna win. Whoa! Don't hit me. What do you mean, don't hit you? I wouldn't hit you. I'm giving up. That is one hot Pegasus. Right. 23 pounds, 1,000 pounds, no dice. That's it. You got it. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> it's a little heavy. Go on, transfer, transfer, transfer. Oh, yeah. see! Ground effect! I got it, I got it. Amazing, RC. Look at that. Skills. Those are Harrier skills. Alright. Well done, uh, RC. Transition. How much water did he use? Uh, I'm still using water. <laughs> 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 trying to get up to speed. Um, the 270 now. So we'll just, you know, just, I can throttle back. You can do it with a gross weight of around 22,000 pounds, or the equivalent of, let me have a look, one, two, what, what bombs have you got, RC? Seven Mark 82s. And there's a belly thing, what's on your belly? Oh, I'm sorry, a, a ECM pod and a gun pod. So it's got a gun pod, an ECM pod, and seven Mark 82s, and you can go and bomb a whole bunch of tanks from Soviet vehicles and stuff with like that. Right, that's it, I'll see, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you later.